Hi everyone, this is Catherine. Um, I wanted to do a quick review on the fountain pens that I have right now. Um, I have a total of five. Um, I just recently decided to get back into fountain pens. I used to write with them um, when I was really young, in fourth grade maybe. Um, basically when I graduated from pencils, I went straight up to fountain pens. And ever since, I think I used them from maybe fourth grade till end of high school, um, along with gel pens, but I mostly use fountain pens. And I really, really liked them, but I stopped using them in college. I don't know why, I just felt like I don't want to carry them around just in case they explode and ruin my textbooks or notebooks. Um, not that that's ever happened to me before, but um, I don't know, I just had this fear. Um, and recently, I decided to try them out again, and I just purchased um, my first one that I purchased was the Kaweco Brass Sport. And once I started using it, I really I realized how much I missed using a fountain pen. It's just so different from writing with a gel pen. And one thing led to another. Now I have five. So I wanted to do a quick review for those of you who are new to fountain pens or um, you know whether you already purchased one or you're deciding to buy one um, and don't know where to start or you're intimidated by them. I hope this video might be helpful for you. Um, so here we go. The first one I purchased, like I said, was this Kaweco Brass Sport and this is made in Germany. Um, this is the same thing as the brass um, that you see all over Instagram and you know a lot of YouTubers have it. Um, it's the same thing, it's just made with a different material. I purchased this one first because I thought that was going to be the only fountain pen I'm going to have. Um, but I was so wrong, right? Um, so that's the first one I bought and I bought this in um, Extra Fine. All of my pens are going to be in Extra Fine because I don't like writing with thick pens because I write really, really small and I really need that Extra Fine nib. Um, this one is my second one that I bought. This is a Lamy, um, Lamy Safari in charcoal, I believe. Um, it's really cool because th there is a window here where you can see how much ink you have left. And I love how the entire body is matte black. And it also has this, um, black nib, which I think is so sleek. Um, I use this mostly for work. Next one I purchased was the Kaweco Sport in green. I love this green color. It's kind of emerald um, color and I, I bought the gold or brass um, clip and it just has this jewel like look to it. I really, really love it. So that's the third one I bought. And then I purchased this um, Twisby Eco. I feel like everybody has this too. And it's just one of those really robust, um, high quality fountain pen that has a really large ink cartridge. And it's just really beautiful to look at and the price range is also really low for you know so it's good for a introductory pen and it's just so cool to be able to see um, everything inside your pen seeing how the ink flows into your nib i really like this this is um twisby is based in taiwan and it's really really popular among fountain pen users um this is the most recent pen I bought. Um, this is the Pilot Elite 95S, I think. Um, I re this is my first gold nib pen. 
I really wanted a gold nib because I realized okay I am going to I'm going to stick with fountain pens I might as well invest in a gold nib so this is the first gold nib that I bought um, it's not as expensive as the other gold nibs out there um, so it's a good I would say this is a good intermediate level pen if you know you're going to um, use fountain pen seriously um, like almost every day and you want to invest your money into something that's a little bit better and more per um, I, yes better <laughs> I think this is a good pen to buy um, this has a really nice vintage look to it this is 14k gold nib in extra fine and it's a pocket size pen so the cap um, you just put on the back and it becomes a regular size pen this is my favorite I use this the most uh, even though it's the newest one the ink cartridge is running out um, on this one so I have to change it um, pretty soon so these are the five pens that I have and for these four, I plan, um, these three already have uh, ink cartridge converter in it, in it, and this one I'm using the um, disposable ink cartridge that came with the pen. And you can see the ink is almost running out. But once I finish with the ink cartridge, I'm going to replace it with the converter. This is the Pilot Con 40 and um, it's a twisting type of ink converter which I don't mind um, so I'm going to replace it with this and use it with my bottled ink and for the bottled ink I'm using Noodler, Noodler, Noodler's ink um, bulletproof ink line and the color is American Eel and this is a black color so I am using this for in um, these three right now and also this one and this one I don't think you can use it uh, with those disposable ink cartridges um, the ink cartridge is built into this pen and you basically just twist this and that that's how you draw out the ink from the bottled ink um, okay so let me do a quick pen test for you guys um, so in this book I have the Nanami um, notebook in A6 size and um, Nanami notebook if you're not familiar with it this is um, the Tomoe, Tomoe River paper so I'm gonna test my pens on this paper for you guys because I know uh, Tomoe paper river paper is really popular for fountain pen users and also I have a Stalogy here just to do a comparison and this is not Tomoe river paper um, so I'm just going to take a random page here. Okay. So first I'm going to use the Tomoe River paper. So I'm going to go in the order of purchase. So the first one is this Kaweco Brass Sport. Um, so I write really, really small, so please excuse my writing size. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. So here.
Okay, so that's all of them on the Tomoe River paper. You can see that um, I think the Kaweco Brass Sport Extra Fine and the Pilot Elite 95S are the thinnest. And even though these two are the same exact pen, I don't know why, but Kaweco Sport Green writes more wet. Um, you can see that it's still kind of glary. Um, so you know that it's still really wet, but this one is really dry and so is the last one. Um, so personally, I like the Kaweco Brass Sport and Pilot Elite 95 as the best um, for their really thin nibs. Um, but I also really like Lamy Safari for how smooth it writes. And these two are um, Kaweco Sport Green and Twisby Eco are kind of in the middle. But I do like all of them. It's just if I had to rank them, I would rank them like that. And normally I use the Pilot Elite 95S for everyday writing. Uh, for example, for all my journals and um, planning and everything because it dries really quickly because it's um, super thin. Um, but for, you know, work, I use Quaco Sport Green and Lamy Safari um, the most and also Twisby as well because I need to do um, some sketching and just like quick jotting and um, I don't really need to worry about how thin I need to be and how, how um, the how neat the writing is. Um, so these are the five pens I have on to uh, to my river paper. And I'm just gonna do a quick um, demonstration on the Stalogy for you guys, in case you're curious. Okay, so you can see that um, this is the Salogy and this is the this is the Salogy on the right and then this is the Tomoy River paper and I'll show you how the back looks. So you can see a little bit of ghosting there and the Salogy, let's see. You can see um, some ghosting there as well. Um, so if I do a smudge test, I think, yeah, these two are definitely the most wet and you can see that this, these are fine. So um, I would say the Lamy Safari and Kaweco Sport Green are the most wet ones and then the other ones are much, they dry faster. Uh, because it's not it doesn't write as wet okay so um that was a quick pen test for you guys um i i really like all of them but if i had to choose i think these two are my favorite this one writes just a slightly more scratchy than this one this one is really smooth um, and it's so light, this is a little bit heavier. Um, but what really confuses me is why these two write so differently. As you could see, this one smudges like crazy, but this one doesn't. It dries really fast and it also writes thinner and drier. Um, so I really don't understand why if you guys know or you guys if any of you have both of these and have the same problems please let me know um, yeah I'm really puzzled by why these two write so differently um, I was really hoping that this would write more like this pen 
uh, which is why I purchased another one, but I just it's really confusing. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Who um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.